What's up guys, today I'm going to be going over my top 5 Nintendo games of all time. My YouTube channel is centered around Nintendo games, so I figured I should make a video like this to let you guys know which ones are my personal top picks. So without further ado, let's get started with number 5. Kicking off the list at number 5 we have Pokemon. Not any specific game, not the card game, not the anime, but Pokemon as a whole. I've been a Pokemon fan for a good portion of my life, ever since I was 8 I believe. Pokemon, whether you're playing the games, watching the anime, or trading the cards, is such a unique and nostalgic experience for so many people around the world, including myself. Although I don't trade the cards or watch the anime anymore, I still play the games, although casually and admittedly rarely. But I do play them. Collecting these little pocket monsters and raising them and seeing them evolve and grow in battle is just so iconic to the Pokemon experience. Trading Pokemon cards on the school bus back in third grade is such a nice, nostalgic memory for me and the Pokemon anime are what got me into watching anime to begin with. So for all these reasons, the Pokemon games have earned their spot at number 5 on my list. Up next at number 4 we have Super Smash Bros Ultimate. This game is something special. It's the perfect celebration and coming together of all things Nintendo and beyond, and I love that. I got this game for Christmas in 2018, and it was admittedly my first Smash Bros game, but I ended up sinking over 400 hours into it. I'm one of the few people who really enjoyed World of Light, despite its flaws. And to be honest, I never really played a full-on RPG before playing World of Light, and World of Light with a spear system almost felt like a soft RPG experience, which was great for paving the way to my current love of RPGs and JRPGs. Playing Ultimate with your friends in the same room on the same console is just so much friggin' fun. You guys know what I'm talking about. I have so many fond memories of having a great time playing this game with my friends. It's just so nice and unique. This game deserves the number 4 spot. Thank you for this one, Nintendo. Coming in at number 3 we have by far the most recent title on this list, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I love this game so much. So I've been a fan of the Xenoblade series since I picked up Xenoblade 2 back in January of 2021 by recommendation of one of my good friends. If you're watching this you know who you are, thanks for that. But out of 1, 2, and 3, 3 takes the cake. I feel like this is the culmination of the Xenoblade experience. It took everything good about the first game, everything good about the second game, and took away both of their flaws and just turned it into this breathtaking JRPG masterpiece. The story in this game was phenomenal. I love the cast of characters so much. The music, the voice acting, everything is just so on point. And the world, the world, man. Exploring this game's open world was such a thrill. No game has made me feel the way that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 did the first time I played it since when I first played Breath of the Wild nearly five years ago. And that is seriously saying something. And this game's DLC isn't even out yet. Once that comes out, if it's good enough, I might have to bump this game up to number two. Hats off to Monolith Soft for this one. Can't wait for the DLC story. Claiming the number 2 spot we have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This was my favorite game of all time from 2018 to 2021. My reason for loving this game so much is the same as a lot of other people's. The Breath of the Wild experience is a once in a lifetime thing. The feeling of being completely free to explore the gargantuan world for hundreds of hours is just amazing. I remember when I first completed the Great Plateau I landed down on the ground. I was just so absorbed by this feeling of wow this world is huge, where do I even go? What do I do? And I loved every moment of it. Seeing a mysterious landmark or object or enemy in the distance and going to investigate it was engrossing. Running away from a horde of enemies or a particularly dangerous one like a Lionel you ran into on accident was thrilling. That feeling of summoning a certain hill or a mountain and gazing at this gigantic and spectacular world around you was just so utterly jaw-dropping. This game provided an incredible, unforgettable experience that you are probably going to remember for a long time. I know I will. Concluding the list of the number one spot is my favorite game of all time, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Every game on this list has a special place in my heart, but Three Houses has a special place among those places. I love this game to death. The cast of this game is something really special. I've never seen a game that managed to have a cast of 25 plus playable characters that all have their own beautifully fleshed out stories like this. Every character has a tale to tell, and each one leaves you wanting more with each support conversation, story cutscene, or dialogue. The game branching into four distinct story paths makes it worth replaying multiple times, without question. The alternate outcomes and endings leave you questioning what the right answer is for the future of Fodlan, and the game has some seriously heart-wrenching emotional parts. The Azure Gleam path in particular is so masterfully done. It's an absolute emotional roller coaster. Dimitri, the main lord of said route, is such a masterfully crafted and perfected character, and my favorite character from any game ever. For all these reasons, Fire Emblem Three Houses is my number one game of all time. And that's my list! This video was my 250 subscriber special, so I wanted to make it something unique. Thank you guys so much for 250 subscribers, it means so much, and I appreciate each and every one of you who subscribed. 
I'm really happy to have made it to 250. My next goal is 500, so it would mean the world if you subscribed. I know I hit 250 a while ago, but I've been really busy with school and stuff lately, so I haven't had time to work on videos. This was my first video essay style video, and it was lots of fun to make. If you guys have any suggestions for how I can improve on this style of video, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.